Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today's video is going to be about my BMW 128i. So the issue I'm having is it's giving like hesitation when I give it light throttle as though it's trying to misfire, but it's not because I checked the coil packs, the spark plugs, replaced all of those, and I checked the, was it, the fuel injectors through input, and they checked out fine. So it seems like it's just bucking. It's like, I don't know. So lightly on the gas now and it's like small hesitations shake 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 smooth so the only other thing I could think of right now is I'm gonna go ahead and check the Vano solenoids, clean those out and see if it go ahead and clears it up. So the good thing about changing the Vano solenoids is that it's right here in the front of the engine. So you're gonna use a T20 Torx bit and remove the screws here, 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 and here. I already took those out, so all I gotta do is right now is just make sure these tabs are on clips and pretty much wiggle this out like so. The, so they're held in place with a 10 millimeter bolt. So there, here's one for the bottom solenoid and up here above it is another bolt for the top. So once you get in there, you can really see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook these uh, clips. So you just push, pretty much push down and then pull back and they'll come right off. So I have both bolts out now using this uh, small stubby extension and uh, the 10 millimeter. And it's the perfect size because the fan is kind of in the way. So. You get more room if you pull the fan out. So I really don't want to go down there and take out that cooler down there from the fan. So I'm leaving it in. But yeah, they're off now. So all I gotta do is go ahead and just like wiggle it like up and down and pull back and it'll come right out. Make sure to put like a rag down here below them because some oil is gonna come out. So this is the top one right now, it's out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some parts cleaner and spray it down, clean it up. All right, so I sprayed it down and it's nice and clean and made sure to spray inside all the holes and inside the middle part and get it all cleaned out good. So it's dry now, so it's ready to go back inside the car. So putting the clip back on right now, remember that the clip that comes from the passenger side of the engine goes to the top and the one that's coming from the driver's side goes to the bottom. All right, so before putting this cover back on, I just went ahead and started it, make sure everything is nice and good. And it is, so I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on and call it a day.